Hello, my name is Professor Jacqueline McGlade and I'm a professor at the Institute for Global Prosperity at University College London. I'm going to talk to you today about citizen science. We've been doing it for decades and realised not only is it the cornerstone of what we do, but it has brought about a revolution in how we envisage data being used within the research context. In fact, it is the backbone of our work at the Institute. The fact that it makes such a difference can be manifest in the forest that I'm walking through today. When we started our citizen science programme four years ago, there were no trees here. But through the science and through the community work, we've been able to bring back an ecosystem like this. So working with communities, bringing science, has trained us to think about the world in a very different sense. Using traditional knowledge, making it work, helping communities to realise that they can be empowered with this knowledge. This is at the heart of citizen science. So I'm going to introduce to you first of all, Even Zhao, who's been the, really delivering the very best of our data management, data collection, and all the different ways in which we can envisage the world. My name is Eve Zhao. I'm a nature resource management specialist for the last six years, but I've been working with Procol since 2019 for the, la for the last four years. And my specialty has been in data management, especially in the area of carbon development and natural resource valuation. So this work has been guided by some of the citizen science principles. Mostly we look at how data is used, the accuracy of the data. We also train the citizen scientists on the data. We also look at the benefits that are to be derived, not only to the scientists, the specialists, but also especially to the community. We always make sure they're involved in everything that we do, from core design, evaluation, and most importantly, our citizen scientists are acknowledged in the data, not only in citation, but whenever we have high-level meetings with global stakeholders and national policy makers, they're the ones who present their findings and they are at the same table with these people. Now you've heard a bit about our training and why we do citizen science, you're going to hear from our graduates. The stories they tell, the way in which the training has transformed the kinds of work that they do, I think will be truly inspirational. And I hope that you enjoy the next few moments as you see what they're going to tell you about their lives as citizen scientists. My name is Solomon Aliantaya. I come from uh, Narrow County. And I've been um, a citizen scientist for close to six years. And uh, during the whole time of my practice as a citizen scientist, we have been able to collect information that has been used by the UN through a program called um, uh, TEEB, the Economics of Ecosystems and Biodiversity. And um, the kind of information we have collected ha is going to make a lot of impact in the communities around the world. I'm Timothy Kipkeo Kibruta. I'm from El Keo Market County in Kenya. I've worked with the citizen science for over 17 years. We have done a lot of research or uh, collecting of data in, as citizen science in the local community. And we did a lot of map surveys with the farmers. And we have done uh, a bit of a survey with uh, the issue of beekeeping in the agricultural sector in the Elgeo Marquette County. And we have worked with the county government of Elgeo Marquette to get the data so that they can advise the farmers on how to go about what is happening, to know what is needed or what is their priorities. And in doing so, we have changed a lot of work in Elgeo Marquette County, which is very positive to the local community. Hi, I'm Helen Chiamwedi Chief Tau from Elgeo Marquette County north of the part of Kenya. So I have been a citizen scientist for almost 10 years. We have been trained how to collect the data when we go to the bill. First of all, you have to go and introduce yourself to the group of the farmers that you are going to, to meet. And then you gather your information. So you can gather your information through recording, mapping, drawing, writing uh, and even voice recording and then after you have got your information you make sure that you have got the exact information that you wanted you are invo after you have you have got the right information that you wanted you have to give your information confidently should be you have to it should be safe and confidently yeah my name is nelson kirodic pailengo from tot elkeo marquette county i'm a scientist based in tot in Gary valley I've been, a, I've been a 
citizen science for the last 10 years. And during this, we have been training a lot about mapping and other issues of um, science, research scientists. Recently, we did a value chain project, which helped me a lot to transmit, uh, trans disseminate information to farmers and the entire community around me. So this value chain is actors and activities from the farmer's product in the farm to the final consumer. It involves transportation, storage, packaging, and marketing, even, even marketing, and other, other aspects of doing. It allows farmers to know exactly what is needed. I am Joseph Kim Taichev Torres from LK Maraquet County, from Mbapot in Kenya. So I'm a citizen scientist. I've worked for more than four years as a citizen scientist. And uh, we started uh, focus groups, visited focus groups, uh, getting feedbacks from them what prosperity had. They gave us several reasons about prosperity. I visited the whole location, they gave me they gave me different reasons of prosperity, according to them. And uh, as a scientist, I had put it in, we put it in five major points. Like one, uh, we gave like healthy environment, second, food, third, education, five, uh, land, land, and uh, ethics and uh, good cultural values. My name is Andrew Kibetiano. I work with citizen scientists from Elkeo Maraquet County in Iten, Kenya. Uh, I work uh, with uh, key informants in uh, trying to solve farmers' issues. So we have uh, a questionnaires that we, we have developed so that we work with them. And then uh, these people are the ones that are uh, in, uh, more knowledgeable on what is happening in the ground. Uh, for example, we have agroforestry, where we work with them in uh, trying to know exactly the, the indigenous seeds that are uh, relative to the ground, so that uh, these indigenous seeds can grow very well in the ground, and, they, and these key informants are the people who, who know exactly. My name is Noah Pilagatruto. I'm from Elkeo Margaret, Elkeo Margaret County, working citizen science. I've been doing this research for nine years. I was specialized in poultry, so we have we visited farmers. So the data we are collecting, it has helped a lot of a lot of farmers. So in that area, people are engaging in poultry because of the knowledge. Yeah. I'm Thompson Kipkore Kiptum from Elkeo Maraquet County, Kenya. Maraquet is the sub-county Emboput location. I'm extremely proud as a citizen science. Uh, through this, I've increased access to information uh, on uh, farming and climate change. We've turned data on uh, photo foils using camera, uh, assembling the photos, having debrief with farmers. And uh, from there, farmers have now actually learned on food safety, Diets. My name is Joseph Connets. Currently, I've got undergone uh, training on the, um, as a citizen scientist for the last four years. Now, I managed to learn various activities in order that um, I'm able now to articulate issues to the communities. In fact, our communities are not aware of what is happening. But with the knowledge that I've gained, I'll be able now to transfer the knowledge on environmental conservation. I'm Joel Bitok uh, from Nandi County, which is in Kenya, and uh, specifically from Tin Red Sub County. I'm a trained citizen scientist. I've worked with Procol for the last four years uh, in developing uh, several scenarios uh, surrounding within uh, our ecosystem. And uh, some of the issues we have been able to discuss uh, lies on agriculture, uh, agroforestry, uh, we have uh, the status quo, and uh, the carbon farming. 
My name is Patrick Oleletura. I have been a citizen Sundays for four years. And my professionality uh, to identify the wildlife, uh, plants, and cameras. Yeah. My name is Beatrice Kibele Kenya. I come from Naro County. I've been a citizen scientist for four years now. And um, I've learned a lot being a citizen scientist. And uh, the most important thing I learned is about digital communication, where we use digital communication to communicate, disseminate information uh, with the group members. We have used the digital communication to uh, uh, take data, collect data about uh, our projects. We take pictures of trees, we collect the data and share with our uh, other stakeholders. Um, my name is Stephen Tue. I come from Nandi County in Kenya. I am a citizen scientist. I have worked as a citizen scientist for four years now. And I have learned a lot about uh, conserving our forests, especially Mao Forest. My name is Frederick Olekeriasek from Kenya, Narrow County, Mao, next to the, to the Mao Forest. I have been a scientist, assistant scientist for four years working in the, in the field. Uh, we have uh, different rules of uh, data collection and uh, we have uh, the recording, that's audio. We have uh, photo voice, we have the peli. But I, I love so much about uh, our unique way of uh, Sapeli. That is a, an app developed by us. I am Irene Salim from Kericho, Kenya. I am a leader, citizen scientist, and also I am a TOT, a trainee of a trainees. And I uh, have learned about the biodiversity activities, especially tree nursery.